I am working on row three of our day 10 instructions, and it says to, you know, knit two, knit front and back, knit all the way to the marker, and that's where I am going right now. So I'm just knitting my way to this first marker. Then I need to remove this marker, and we're done with it for a while. Then I'm going to make one right. So I need to do a increase here. So this is a make one right. That increases one stitch. And then the instructions say to cast on three using the backward loop cast on. So I'm going to make a loop and put it on my needle. So you make a loop and turn it around. That's two. And then the very last one, there's my third loop. So now I should have, here's the center stitch, right? Because it was being held um, divided by these two little markers. There's my center stitch. And to the left of that center stitch, I have 114 stitches. And on this needle now, I have 119 stitches. So total, we're at 234. Um, all of these stitches, the center stitch and the one to the left, we're gonna put those on a holder now. And the way I'm gonna do that is I'm going to take from color number one, hopefully you're still putting your yarn back in its boxes. We'll be going back and forth from some through uh, the different boxes every once in a while. So I wanna make sure we use uh, the yarns that we specify so we have enough to complete the project. So I'm gonna take this yarn here, color number one, and I'm going to use it as waste yarn. I'm going to thread it onto a tapestry needle. So grab a tapestry needle and get it threaded. And you're gonna need some of this yarn, so I'm just pulling a length of it so that it's out of the way um, and I don't have to fool with it while I'm transferring these stitches. I've pulled my right needle out so that these stitches don't come off and now I'm gonna start slipping all of these. So I'm going to thread the center stitch and that marker and all of these other stitches onto this waist yarn. So I will do it by taking some of the stitches onto my needle and then give it a little pull to get them onto that waist yarn. I'm gonna do that all the way to the end of this, um, to the end of this uh, side of the of the shawl. So get that done and then I'm gonna show you what's next. I'm getting to the end here, so just getting these last few stitches onto this waist yarn. And now I can take my tapestry needle off and I'm holding on to this is my yarn tail for my waist yarn and I'm going to um, lengthen this yarn that is in my now in my project and I want to make sure that all of those stitches are on there and they are but I want to make sure that this uh, that I can lay this flat and the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to take this length of yarn. So here we can lay this out. I'm gonna take the, the yarn that comes out of this end over here and make sure that it is long enough to go all the way back to this end. And I will break the yarn. Actually, I will cut it using our fun little scissors. So there, snip. And then these can get secured back. Now I can take my color number one put it back in its box for now. Staying very organized, aren't we? So there, back in its box. Making sure that I don't um, let this end sneak into the fabric, I'm going to now take this longer end of the tail. This is that long yarn tail I just created. Grab my tapestry needle, and I'm gonna thread this tail onto my tapestry needle. And what I'm gonna do, because I could just tie these two ends together, but then I'll have this giant um, loop of yarn that will kind of be in the way. So instead of having that in the way and also um, 
wanting to make sure that I uh, can lay this out flat if I want to, I'm taking this longer uh, waste yarn and I'm just gonna tack it through my project. And this is just kind of like a basting stitch or whatever, it's not, this is obviously going to be temporary. And I'm just going through and every couple stitches, just grabbing a little bite of my fabric here. And weaving the other end of this waste yarn through my project. You can be more exact if you want to be more exact, but it's not necessary. Um, but I'm weaving it all the way in to this other end here. So getting to those last few stitches. And then once I get to there, I can take my tapestry needle, put it away. And now those two ends of that waste yarn are in the same place. So I can tie them in a knot and I can trim those down if I want to, which I will. And now I have all of these stitches put on a waist yarn and I don't have to deal with that giant loop as I'm working. So I'll go back to what I was doing, which is right here. So the instructions said to do three stitches using the backwards loop cast on and they are still right there. So that completed row number three. I now have all of those other stitches on my waist yarn and I'll be working back and forth on this side of the project now. So I'm gonna turn and work my row number four, which is um, simple. It's just gonna be knitting three stitches and then purling to the end of the row. And this little tiny bit here, we'll talk about it later, but this is gonna be a border very much like the garter stitch um, edge on this side. So we're gonna create a garter border there and keep on going. Hope you're having fun with this. We are, and uh, I can't wait to talk with you again tomorrow.